Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my part two of my summer living room makeover. I'm Robin if you happen to be new. This video is full of summer cleaning and decorating and it's also a collaboration with my friend Rachel. Rachel's channel is called Rachel's Southern Life. I'll leave a link to Rachel's summer decorating video down in my description box. Be sure to go on over, show her some love, and let her know in the comment section that I sent you. Now let's stop real fast and let Rachel introduce herself to you guys. Hey y'all, I'm Rachel and I am super excited to be collabing with Robin today as we decorate our homes for summer. Anytime I need any decor inspiration, I run over to her channel and see what she has got going on. She just has the coziest little home and I absolutely love how down to earth and genuine she is. She is definitely a gem. After you watch Robin's video, I invite you to come over to my channel for even more summer decor inspiration. Thank you so much, Robin, for collabing with me on today's video. Hey friends, please head over and check out Rachel's video. I know you'll love her. Now here's a quick before shot of what this den looked like as far as the paint beforehand. I'll be using Agreeable Gray from Sherwin-Williams. I went back and forth on do I want to pay a professional to come paint the living room because it was quite a huge job and I hate to paint. I had a friend Tammy, thank you Tammy, she offered to come help me paint it. And then once my daughter and her best friend Ryan and Vanessa said they would come over and we'd have a little painting party and they would help me out, I was like okay let's just get this done and I'm so glad that I finally dove in and got the living room painted. I think it looks fabulous. And oh my goodness friends, look at the difference a can of paint can make. A tough job, but this painting party was quite fun and we finally got her done. And since I had everything off the carpet, I thought this was a perfect time to get in here and do some deep cleaning and get these carpets cleaned. And one thing I did, guys, I added some liquid downy to my carpet cleaner. And oh my goodness, what a difference it made. It made the carpet feel so um, soft, I suppose, and smelled wonderful when I got through. So a little tip for you to add any type of liquid fabric softener that you normally put in your washing machine. Just put just a little bit in your carpet cleaner. So just a, a couple of shots I'm going to show you guys. I love to watch people cleaning their carpets. That yucky dirt getting sucked up into the vacuum cleaner is just so satisfying to me. So I didn't show too much of it, but just enough for y'all to get some satisfaction of seeing how dirty this carpet is. And then I've got a fabulous after shot of some really great carpet lines for you guys. And here you go guys, nothing like some fresh, clean carpet lines. And I tell you, my den smells so, so good using that downy softener. It made such a difference. Nothing like fresh, clean carpets. I believe this is the third video of my living room makeover se series and in the first video was the decor haul and I showed you a snapshot of a new bench I bought to go in my living room it's absolutely stunning and I asked uh, let me know in the comment section if anyone can guess where I'm gonna put this new bench in my living room and let me know if you guess the spot I'm gonna give this old um, table to my granddaughter to put in her bedroom and this is where the new bench is going to go it was such a great feeling to do some deep cleaning in this living room. And one thing I also did was I took down my curtains and washed them. I also added a little bit of liquid down into these curtains to really make them feel, smell so fresh. So I'm going to get these curtains put back up and then we'll start putting the living room back together.
Okay guys, the only project that I will not get done in this living room makeover is reupholstering this chair and a half. It is in this ottoman. It is so, so comfortable. I've had it for lots of years and my friend Sheila is gonna reupholster it for me and I'm so excited about that. I just can't find the right material that I want. I thought about doing like a really thin striped, like a ticking material, uh, a real light tan. I went to Hobby Lobby, didn't see anything, so she's gonna try to find me something. But anyway, that'll be a project coming up. I think that's really really going to help the living room since my furniture is so dark and I can't wait to show you guys what this looks like when we get this reupholstered but for now it's going to stay like it is and we'll just lighten it up with some throws and some pillows. Oh friends, I was so excited when I found this sweet, sweet little upholstery bench online. They had a lot, I got it from Target, it was from the Opal House brand, and they had a lot of their benches on sale. So I got this bench for $75, and if you've ever priced benches, especially benches that belong inside the house, they are really expensive. So I was super excited when I was shopping, because I've been shopping for this living room home makeover for several months. And I snagged this one about four weeks ago when they had them on sale and super excited. Especially with the holidays coming up, I'm always looking for extra seating here in the living room. We have a pretty large family. We have a huge Christmas party with some friends and family. So I'm always needing extra seating and this is going to be the perfect little seating for maybe a little couple for two people to sit on so i'm very excited about this another project that's not going to get done in this uh, livery makeover but i'll get that to you asap is my little end tables so you see the light color here on the bench i'm going to get this end table i've got another one on the other side of the living room i'm going to try that oven easy off um, thing i'm not a good diy person at all um, my friend Ashley with Busy Little Blondies, she rocks when it comes to DIY projects, but I do not. But I've been seeing lots of little um, shorts and TikToks that where someone just sprays the Easy Off oven cleaner, I think it's gonna be the yellow can, leave it on for 20 to 25 minutes, and then spray it off with a power washer, and it just comes right off and gets it down to the, um, the natural wood. So I'm hoping this will get down to a really light natural wood color and kind of match the wood that's on this bench. So there's another project coming your way, guys. So be looking for that project. All right, now that we've got our new pieces put in place, our fresh clean curtains put up, let's unbox our lamp and get our new floor lamp put out. And then let's start warming this up and making it extra cozy and adding some color to this part of the living room. Now let's do some unboxing and put together my new floor lamp. I want to thank Dan with Samori for reaching out to me to do a review on one of their floor lamps and for sponsoring this portion of my video. I was very excited when Samori reached out to me to do a sponsorship to share one of their floor lamps. It was the perfect timing since I knew I had this living room makeover series coming up. Plus, if you've been around here for a while, you know that I just love lamps. I'll have a link in my description box that will take you directly to their website so you can check out all of their lighting products. Samori has provided me with a discount code floor lamps can be rather pricey so if you're in need of a floor lamp to spruce up any area in your home go check out the discount code in my description box and save you some money
Okay, so here's just a up close look at it. What sewed me on this was this beautiful linen shade. It is just gorgeous. It has little black specks in it, and I love the black matte of the rod, and super easy to put together. I don't assemble things very well, but this is super easy to put together, and the base is really heavy. It's not flimsy at all, so very impressed. I'm going to show you another area where I'm going to use the discount code that they gave me and buy another floor lamp and put over here on the other side of the living room. Okay, and I'm thinking about putting another floor lamp right there in that little area. It like gets really dark there. I sit there a lot and edit. So I'm going to use the discount code they provided and buy another lamp for this corner. So don't forget, I've got a link and a discount down in my description box. All right, so let's start by covering up this outlet and wires by adding a basket, my favorite pillow, and a cozy blanket. This setup tends to be a staple for me here in this area. I do not like all of those wires showing, and my curtains aren't quite wide enough to cover up that area. This little side table is actually a sewing machine table. It was my Granny Horton's and I just truly cherish it. I like to keep it pretty simple here on this side table and I'm just gonna start with adding my photo splint. To give it some height, I'll add these little books that have my favorite saying on it, it is well with my soul. Now let's move over to one of the side tables. I like adding some height here in this corner, so I'll add this really pretty tall white vase with some even taller lavender stems to really fill in this area. If you saw my video this past Sunday where I decorated my fireplace area, you would have seen this little tray, but in a bigger form. I actually found these online at Home Depot, and I thought they would work well here in the living room. I just love the mixture of natural wood and black iron together. I think it adds such a touch of warmth to any area. And this adorable little floral puff with the yellow flowers came from a new home decor site that I found called the Tattered Tulip. I purchased several things from the Tattered Tulip to include in my living room makeover. And you'll see a tray here in just a second that I'll use on my coffee table. For an added touch of coziness here at the end of the couch, I'll add a candle. I don't know about you guys, but having a candle or two burn while I'm cleaning or decorating just makes me happy. It's almost like a statement to myself that, okay, this area is now complete. And of course, after looking at this area for quite a bit, I've decided to change it up just one more time. All right, now let's move over to one of my favorite uh, pieces to decorate here in the living room, and that is my coffee table. Besides my fireplace being such a focal point here in the living room, I feel my coffee table is also. I've started with this beautiful beaded tray. This is the tray that I mentioned earlier that I got from the Tattered Tulip. I think it's just beautiful. And then I'll use these two green glass jugs. I've had these for some time. I got them at Hobby Lobby, and I think they're the perfect touch of coastal style here on the coffee table. I've also had this faux fern for some time. It also came from Target. I just love the light wood on that pot that it's in and the wispy fern uh, florals are just so, so pretty. It flows very well and this fern goes along with some ferns that I used while I decorated the fireplace. So I'm just continuing that floral look of ferns here on the coffee table. These Cosmo floral stems came from Hobby Lobby. I've seen a ton of these lately in a lot of decorating channels, and I think they're the perfect floral stems for summer, and they will transition well into fall. 
I felt this tray was missing something, so I decided to add this wicker cover to the small green jug. I know my coffee table is wicker also. It's got that wicker texture. However, with the white tray being between the surface of the coffee table and the wicker cover, I thought it would work well and it completed this area. All right, now that I've got all the surfaces decorated here in the living room, let's add some pillows and some throw blankets to lighten up my dark furniture. I mentioned earlier reupholstering this chair in ottoman. I would love to hear any comments or suggestions regarding what pattern or material that you think I should use on this chair. I do love hearing everyone's suggestions in the comment section. Oh man, what fun I'm having making over my living room and sharing it with you guys. Please know that I appreciate every one of you who come back every week, watch my video in its entirety, leave a sweet comment or any comment, and hit that thumbs up button. It just means the world to me. If you happen to be new today, I would love it if you would take the time before you leave, maybe leave me your name and where you're from in the comment section. And also over on Instagram, you can follow me at Robin Lane Low. I would love for us to be friends over on that platform. Don't forget, my friends, to click on the link below to go and watch Rachel's video, show her some love, and let her know that Robin sent you. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye.